Well, that takes us to Check Me Out, a weekly showcase of Nigerians doing amazing things around the world. This week, we meet Wendy Okolo, an aerospace research engineer in the Intelligent Systems Division at the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA. Wendy is keen on supporting tech startups in Nigeria as they transform to global brands. Let's check her out. You have the world at your fingertips. Don't sleep on it. My name is Wendy Okolo. I'm an aerospace research engineer by day, a fitness enthusiast in the evening, and an inspiring DJ in my head at night. Check me out. Grew up here. I uh, consider myself to have been a regular kid. Lived. Um, in VI, I went to school in Yaba, I went to Queens College, Yaba. And in primary three, it was like, oh, we had to tell everybody what we were going to be when we grew up. And uh, I got to my turn and I stood up and I told the class, I'm going to be an engineer. Silence. Just like this. And my teacher looked at me and she laughed. You're going to be an engineer? You're going to be fixing ceiling fans? That's what you're going to do when you grow up as a girl? And as she laughed, the whole class laughed with her. And I was mortified. I was so embarrassed. I was humiliated. I went home and I told my mother, I said, no, this is not for me. I can't do it. I don't even know what it's about, but I don't want to do it because I'm going to be fixing ceiling fans. My who said that? I was like, my teacher. My teacher said, she's like, what? My teacher doesn't know what she's talking about. But she was able to kind of reaffirm and tell me the cool things that engineers got to do. Um, and they weren't fixing ceiling fans. So I went to Texas um, to be with my family, to build my big sisters um, for college, for university, and that was exactly what happened. Um, it was just a transition that was natural in my family. What do I miss about Nigeria? Yeah, food. Um, food, food at all times, any type of food I want, particularly fried yam, and just having access to yam, yam, and more yam. I miss that. I started my bachelor's degree in aerospace engineering. I paid attention in class. This is no joke. In undergrad, I was the queen of listening. If I zoned out when someone was speaking, like to think about something, I'd zone back in and ask them what they just said because I had to take every piece of information that came out of the professor's mouth. I knew all these people's library websites and I knew what books they had and I'd get those books and understand and study till I made an A in that class. I do things in the aero and the space world. So for the aero side, I lead a team that is developing the capabilities that will enable autonomy um, and reduce human intervention for unmanned aero vehicles, what we call drones or things like that in the airspace. And what happens when you have a drone that can fly place to place quickly? What happens when you have an air taxi that can fly autonomously from place to place? To place? It means that you can do emergency operations, it means that you can pick up someone that is incapacitated and take them from one place to another without sitting in traffic. It means that you can transport an organ quickly to a hospital without um, having to deal with traffic. I also work on the space side in developing control technologies that will enable precision landing of a spacecraft. So how can you reduce the footprint of landing something on another planet or bringing something back to Earth? And when you reduce that footprint in terms of you have a smaller area that you can do like a rescue to find the thing or to find the spacecraft, it basically just enables autonomy. To people that want to succeed, and you have to want it, right? It's not just about sitting down and waiting for a mana to fall from heaven or for someone to bring you the answers, the solutions. You have to want it. My name is Wendy Okolo. I'm an aerospace research engineer, and you have just checked me out. Wendy Okolo proudly flying the Nigerian flag. Now let's take a quick reminder of our top story. As we celebrate the role of women in our society, we examined varied thoughts on feminism and its influence on the choices we make in our society. It is not about deconstructing patriarchy, then bringing in matriarchy. Feminism is a very simple word. Maybe if you want to leave, it, leave out the word feminism, please change it to humanism. 
And that's where we're wrapping up tonight's program. Don't forget, we want to hear your views. So join the conversation right now on Twitter at Just Nigeria TV. And for more on any of our stories, visit bbc.com forward slash Africa and channelstv.com. Thank you so much for staying with us. Until next time, I'm Ajoke Hulotse. Goodbye.